so I haven't did a live video um, in quite some time. Ooh, shit. My bad, I almost fell. I haven't been eating the greatest with my eating disorder. I know it's a little hard to see me. I'm walking my mutt. Eating disorders never fail. I just wish it was over the eating disorder part. Um, if you're easily triggered, don't don't watch this. Um, I see I have one view. I'm not sure who it is. Sadie, quit pulling. Um. Anyways. I wanted to come on here and do a video because the things that are happening in my life right now are too much. And A lot to type. I'm gonna do this later because you guys can't see me. I'm gonna come back on here in a little bit because there's no, there's really no lighting. Well, here's some lighting right here. But the things that are going on is a lot to, t to type. Um, but if you're easily triggered, you might want to not watch. Um, my brother, who who raped me when I was eight, I somehow got volunteered for him to live with me because my mom, my other brother, and my sister wouldn't let him live with them. He was on a running on a warrant for three months because he broke his girlfriend's jaw and he got charged with assault too um so he ended up living with me he wasn't even out of jail a week and I had to go to the hospital because I have a history of kidney failure and low potassium issues all the time um and so my trauma's been really high. And, um, hang on a second. And, uh, well, I got volunteered for him to live with me. He wasn't out of jail a week, and he went back because... While I was at the hospital, he was being seen for who knows what. He was drug sick. He's a heroin addict. He smokes crack, does cocaine, pills, you name it, he does it. Um, love him to death, I do, honestly. But I just, I can't risk it again. Um, I'll never be able to look at him the way I look at my other brother or my other siblings. Just because of what he's done but he decided while I was in the hospital bed asleep mind you we weren't even in the same room he decided he was going to steal the hospital computer the hospital walkie talkie I'm not sure why what was he planning on doing talking to them at home I don't know and the I think it was the receptionist iPhone 7 um my, mine and my brother's idea was he was going to clear it all out and he was going to, um, clear it all out and he was going to sell it for dope. I'm not sure exactly, but he went to jail that same day. It was at five o'clock in the morning on Monday and he now today got transferred to the state psychiatric hospital they treat addiction there as well 
So, it's been hard. He wants me to call the judges and talk to them about dropping charges because of where he's at. I honestly don't think charges will be dropped because he's sitting in, he was sitting in jail with a felony five, which is prison time. This is his third felony uh, for the thing he's done to me for arson and now this. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I should do. I have mixed emotions. I love him to death. He's my brother, but just because he's my brother does not mean that I have to like him. Um, so my trauma radar is set very high, which has set my eating disorder completely off. Um, he's, even though he's in the state hospital, he's not going to get the help that he needs. He's a threat to himself and society. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but... He calls my phone constantly, wants me to call the judges, wants me to find out who his attorney is, and wants to live with me again on felony probation, which, and when he stole all this stuff, he took me down with him. So now I'm under investigation with him. Mind you, we weren't even in the same room, and I was asleep the whole time. I didn't even witness him get arrested, hear him get arrested, and his girlfriend was in the same room with him. And he said his girlfriend was the one that was carrying my purse. So, I don't understand. But when I called to figure out why I was under investigation, they said that it was just the initial report and not to worry about it since I wasn't arrested at the time, nor was I charged at the time. They just had to do that as an initial report. So I'm thinking just because I have the same last name as him, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I don't exactly know, um, but it's really frustrating. Uh, his girlfriend tells me he stuck up for her and threw me under the bus, which sounds about right, but now he's telling me a different story. I have no idea what I'm going to do. It's, it's very troublesome and worrisome and very stressful, so... If any of you guys could give me advice, I'd appreciate it. Um, I'm going to finish walking my dog and try to relax. I took my Xanax and just going to hope to be okay and take it 10 minutes at a time, day by day, and hope to get through because I have no idea what else to do. So, um, just got to figure it out, I guess. I, I don't really know. So, here's my rant for the day. Thanks for listening. Alright, bye.